One time, one time uh, I, was a, I, was, I was with a friend of mine, Jamie, and her dad. We was in the truck. We was going somewhere. Might have been the interstate. Anyway, we passed this car. I think the bumper sticker said something like, work by the sweat of your brow, or something about labor. I just happened to read it, you know, said it out loud. And she looks at me and she says, that's full of shit. I said, what do you mean? She said, you know, me and dad, we set, we set up over at Cedars Creek Flea Market, Wilmington, Ohio. And uh, we got a locked booth for a small fee. You know, they charge you to uh, lock your... She said, it's well worth it. Of course, they got to make money too. But anyway, so there's, they leave, you know, that they... they uh, they stocked all their stuff, which wasn't hard in the first place. They ain't got nothing heavy. They stocked their booth completely full. So they and they lock it up the weekdays. And they over uh, at the flea market Saturday and Sunday they open up. And she said, sitting on our ass, sitting on our ass, doing nothing. We make four hundred dollars Saturday and two hundred dollars sometimes more than that. But we make uh, two hundred dollars Saturday. We make two hundred dollars Sunday. And I'd say 80 to 90, that's what she told me, I'm still quoting here. She said 90% of her stuff is from yard sales. It sells like hotcakes. It's a gold mine. No matter how big or commercially business it gets, you still find deals. I've been over myself, and some things are a little pricey. But then you go to the next booth and are giving it away. Of course it's a business, but that doesn't mean that the deals run away that doesn't see my dad's got my dad's always thinking that you know uh he says now you know now yard sales have gone more commercial but that doesn't mean you can't find deals and i love this time of year over here in landon oh my god me and my neighbor used to go over there i'm not knocking the poor but there's a lot of rich people over there in landon and they give it away good stuff my neighbor bought a Broyhill living room suit, three piece. I think it was 60 or 70. They was moving this guy's job. He had to, he had to relocate. So they had to sell everything. The closing date of the house is like in a couple days. They had to be out. They had a U-Haul truck there. The only, they showed us the only thing wrong with this three piece set, the couch, you know how the bottom is feathered? Like, I, uh, is it what they call feathered or folded? You know what I'm talking about. How it's folded, the bottom. It looks like a curtain. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, they unfolded that a little bit, and there's a little bit of a mark where a kid maybe had took a magic marker and, and was playing around. But when it folded back normally, you couldn't see it. There was nothing wrong with it. He got he got the whole Broyhill. I'm talking about the couch, love seat, and the lazy boy, lazy boy recliner for 60. He jewed them. He was wanting 70, 75, where he got for 60. And it looked brand new. They said it ain't about two years old. But we're going to we're, we're going to have to buy it. We can't haul everything. We got a U-Haul truck here. We, we can't haul it. We, they had to, they, they was forced to sell the Broyhill three-piece, and they had a widescreen television. Yeah, one of those big 60 inch televisions. They had 300 on it and they sold it for some guy come in there and offered him 250. They sold it to him, but they couldn't haul everything. That's over in Landon. Oh, it's a gold, the yard sales over there is a gold mine. You know, they got money, they just give it away.